Zero Twins. Today, we're going to be growing many bell pepper plants from one store-bought bell pepper. Okay, guys, so if you want to do this, you're going to need to get a bell pepper from the store that is red, orange, or yellow. And if it's green, that means it's unripe and it's not ready to grow. And I'll tell you why in one of nature's secrets. Like when a seed is planted into the ground and when the fruit starts to appear, nature protects it by making the color of the fruit green. So any animals and birds won't eat it because it's camouflaged. And it will stay like that until the fruit becomes full, fully de developed and it becomes ready to eat. Then a bird, then a bird or an animal will eat it up and drop it in animal droppings, and then the seeds will be ready to grow. If the fruit was unripe and had the colors, if nature didn't protect it, then when then the same thing would happen. The birds or animals would eat the fruit, but when it comes out of the animal droppings, the seeds when they go in the ground, they won't grow. It's because when the plants are unripe, the seed in the ovary is not fully developed. So if you were to chop it up, take the seed and plant it, it wouldn't grow. So anyways, we're going to grow many bell pepper plants from this, from, from this bell pepper. So this is how we're going to do it. Thing, you need to cut open the pepper. But when you're cutting the peppers, make sure you don't damage the seeds or cut the seeds in half. We asked our mom to help us cut these. Remove the whole entire coat that's Pro that's protecting the seeds here. I'm just removing it to show you what's behind it. Um, look at how much seeds are there. Guys, look at the seeds. Aren't they so beautiful? Yes, they are. And as you know, for our channel, and instead of using normal plastic containers, we reuse them. So right now, this is a cookie container that we're going to use as a plant pot. Look, this is what we're going to do. We're first going to fill this container with dirt, and then we're going to put the seeds in there. I finished extracting the seeds from the pepper. Toss it into a container, and then put it right next to a window seal for two weeks. Okay, guys, so these seeds have been sitting on the windowsill for about two weeks now. So, and this is what they're like after they're dry now. That means they're ready to grow. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to throw them into a soil, into a soil bed. Okay guys, now what you want to do is take a thin 
thin layer of soil and, and put it all over the seeds. Okay. Okay, guys. When you're finished, when you're finished putting the soil on top of the seeds, now what you're going to do is you're going to spray the soil with water like this. <laughs> guys, you remember our growing closet? We're going to put this in our growing closet. Yay! These are the results after two weeks. You can see the plants are starting to grow and they've grew a, a, a little small stems. Okay guys, this is the result of the plants after one month. Okay. Guys, look, those are two strong plants. Guys, we are growing these plants in our basement. And, and they get their light from grow lights. When the weather is perfect, we'll move them outdoors. Hey guys, do you see how easy it is to grow pepper plants from one bell pepper from a store, from the grocery? You should try this too. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this, and hit the notification bell for new videos.